So a new report from Redfin shows that 14 out of a thousand homes changed hands in the first half of 2023. And this is as more people obviously are hanging on to their homes and of course they want to wait out those higher interest rates before they make a move. That 1% turnover rate is a significant drop from 19 of every thousand that sold during the first half of 2019. It's also the lowest turnover rate in the last 10 years. Let's dive into the data. I'm Kiwi of the coast, the agent with the most. Helping maximize and sell the value of your coastal home, right? Let's dive in. Before stating that housing is starting to pick up a little bit, Powell also says that the low interest rate and the interest rate hikes have yet to have a full effect on inflation. Five years ago, in 2018, Freddie Mac, looking into data, was stating that we need about 2.5 million homes to satisfy the supply that's needed. And that's largely because we weren't building enough single family homes. Then in 2020 and in 2021, homeowners and investors flooded the market. And that's thanks to remote work and those low interest rates and that depleted the inventory levels even further. When the mortgage rates almost doubled since 2022, those would-be sellers remained and stayed on the sidelines, preferring, in many cases, to rent their homes out rather than sell them. Prospective buyers looking for those large suburban homes have seen their options shrink the most. Roughly 16 out of every thousand homes changed hands in the first half of 2023. And that's two thirds of the turnover rate, 24 out of a thousand, that we experienced in the prior years. And that translates into 33% less homes, suburban homes, for those buyers out there. Now the turnover rate has declined in every type of home in every market in the last four years. Turnover rates for condos and townhomes didn't drop as much during the pandemic as for single family homes. Demand wasn't as high for these condos and townhomes, so the supply in these areas wasn't depleted as much. Now, with both the national and local headlines creating so much confusion out there, we want to clear up what's really happening. So make sure you click on the next video that's on your screen right now so that I can keep you up to date on the next video in the series. We'll see you on the next one. The room.